Ray tracing is finally here for Minecraft Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S consoles, but it's not as easy as just enabling ray tracing for a button. Instead, you need to download a resource pack that works with ray tracing. Currently, this is only available on Minecraft preview builds for the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. However, by the time you're watching this video, it might be out in the full release, so keep an eye on the pinned comment for updates. Once you've got a version of Minecraft that works with ray tracing, on your Xbox, you then need to get yourself a resource pack. You can do this through several different methods. First of all, you can just host a game on a Windows computer or possibly even a Pocket Edition device with a ray tracing pack enabled on the world and then join that from the Xbox through LAN or join a friend's world through the Xbox through multiplayer. You can also have a resource pack on a Minecraft Realm and play the Realm on your Xbox or download the Realm world onto your Xbox so you can play it whenever you want to. There are also ways to be able to get resource packs on the Xbox, but these often get patched and are quite complicated. It is an option though if you want to have a resource pack itself and use it on any worlds on your Xbox. Or you can use the Minecraft Marketplace. There's some ray tracing content on the Marketplace, but some of this is quite expensive and most of it is just limited to already pre-existing worlds and you can't use the resource packs on your own worlds. Once you've picked one of the methods and you got a ray tracing resource pack, then you simply want to go into that world and then hit the pause button, go to settings, video, and then hit the enable ray tracing button after you've scrolled down a little bit. Then you will have ray tracing enabled on your Minecraft Xbox version. If you have any questions or need any help, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you want to know how to add servers on Minecraft Xbox, check out the video on screen.